Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today's video, uh, I want to show you how you can make FM radio. Uh, starting from scratch, of course. So the first of all, you see, um, I use this MCU, this one, STC 15W408A. You can find it. This one, this, this MCU. I use in the programming of our FM radio. Uh, here you see there is keys. There's part of keys. Uh, I putting only uh, four. Uh, four switches. The one is the the first of all. This one is F plus F minus is the frequency plus all the frequency minus. When changing the frequency, uh, you can go to the plus or the negative the another one is the v negative and the v plus just for increasing or decreasing the volume um another block i have here uh, the next block is the display block uh, i using seven segment uh seven segment for displaying the the frequency using the the frequency use uh you see this mcu this is another one. This this one you can look clear. This one it's help. This one it's like controller. It's like controller of this seven segment. Um, the next another part you have here is the is the FM radio. This it's like the big part of our FM radio. So this module is the radio. <laughs> you take that and look. Of course, is the part for the analog, is the part for the FM radio. This module, you can use it uh, when you need to creating any radio, an FM radio. This module is designed for FM radio. Uh, you see this one is, is for data, because this data, uh, the data from the FM, let me see. On, on this on this part on this module you see there is antenna the first the signal comes from the antenna you know the fm radio uh, capturing the fm uh, capturing the microwave signal and then you know the you need to have the antenna receiver this antenna receiver the getting the the signal and then you know like how is communication uh, working like so from the the antenna capturing the microwave from the from the sky on the from outside and then uh, the converting to this to the electrical and then the data processed with the this MCU. This MCU is designed to processing this data and then after and then after this signal is sent to the MCU data clock and data and data pin. You see this data pin, you can find it here on our MCU. Um, the next, this one uh, is the audio, audio jack. If you hear the, this signal, it can uh, direct, you can receiving the, the radio wave, the radio using your headset or the, the or using the, the speaker and uh, this part look this one this is the connector of speaker right uh, speaker yeah this is a speaker this is connection for the speaker you see the uh, I like this part all these parts, even when you don't care to the another part, if you need to, to make the radio without any controller, without anything, if you don't need to controlling something, you control anything. When you make this part, or you can receive the signal, right? Uh, even you can changing this the this one, you can receiving signal directly, right? So it's like this part. This part is the part for the controlling the output signal on the speaker. Uh, even you can getting the signal on this part. You see, 
this this uh, output right right output i take the right output and then i put it i i take that as the input of this one the i put to the in input of this control speaker the control speaker this is the input this is the output for the speaker right this is a uh, the, uh, this MCU is like is like uh, audio amplifier for the our our speaker, and then uh, the next session, I think like um, and then we controlling the the our, our signal. You see, uh, this is a debugging part because we need programming uh, our our MCU. This is the debugging part. Uh, this is the signal. This is the signal from uh, from FM from this FM module. So if the signal is available, then you controlling this 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 M MC controlling the signal. It's like to reading the data, and because the we connecting all all this display. You see. Even this display, the part of this display, uh, this is three o'clock uh, wise, must output slave input, must input slave output. Uh, you see, is here. This part is the for the for the display. This part is controlled by this MCU. Of course, it's controlled because after this part, send the signal to this MCU, right? I think everything's clear here. And like uh, uh, this part, it's like the filter. You see, I put it here. This one. You see, uh, this part is like supplying is like supplying you know every digital number after processing the data the mcu scan the four digital the first digital is the first digital second third one fourth one you see it's a how it look like it's how the this signal this mcu send the data send data to be displayed here right so it's it's how it look like uh, this this part don't care uh this is the part is the part for the um, it's a whole like let me show you um, something here uh, let me close let me uh, let me hiding this 3d model uh, like Yep. And then go to the top. You see, it's like this part, right? Uh, this is how our bodies look like. It's look like this one. Uh, our body is so small. This is MCU. Uh, there's a display. This is the FM module. Uh, uh, this one, I think, is the voltage like data. From five voltage to the three voltage, of course, like um, it is a three, it is a switch. Uh, this is a vari uh, variable resistor. Uh, this is a variable resistor. Is this one? Is this a variable resistor? Uh, you see, I connecting the switch on this one. So you see, uh, you can use the USB, you can connect into the USB or you can plug into the just the normal battery, right? You can put if you want, you can put in the here battery or you can just direct connect to the, to the USB 5 voltage to the 5 voltage of USB as the VCC and then converting this one to the 3.3. 3.3 is uh is needed on this MCU because this MCU using 3.3 and another part using 3.3. Um, this this the the next session I make is like uh I make sliding model of this one look like how it look like you see they have antenna it's looking nice very good 
So uh, when I make this one, I was so happy for this one. So I think, uh, and, and, and I'll show you how you can do every step, step by step. I uh, like, uh, you remember I make the mini video of uh, do how we can make enclosure, how we can make a connection, how we can do this one. So if you want, you can tell me, I can do it, it's okay. Uh, you see, as I telling you, you can get the output to the using the headset. This is a pin for headset. This is a pin for the type C input charger. Uh, this is our mic output, right? And the next, you see, this is our FM radio. You see, after <laughs> it's look nice. I think it's look nice. Uh, you see, now you can sell it. You can make your FM radio, and then you enjoying everything. Like uh, you know, uh, let me show you how it look like inside. See, it look like your FM radio at home, right? Yeah, it's so good. I think so good. Like uh, you can enjoy it. This one, so. Uh, you see this the, the the button I show you the the one for the volume and the another for the changing the uh, frequency. Uh, this part I see this one. Uh, this one is trigger. Is the trigger switch and then this a variable resistor. This a switch. Uh, this red is indicating if the the power is on. That's like we all uh, have the all complete FM radio. So. I think this one it is very easy, and then the next I show you every component, every things. Um, if you want to make another one, another FM radio or another thing. So uh, I hope you can enjoy you enjoying this radio, uh, this project because uh, it's a very very interested uh, for me. Even if you you are interested with this project. Uh, or if you have any problem about that, you can tell me, you can ask me any, anything you want on it. Uh, I can explain to you and think, uh, like, you see, uh, some people told me, Shadrach, how can I make this one? How we do this? Oh. So it, it's like this one. In the big day, the next, I planning to, to add the, the screen. And the right now, I'm using to displaying using uh seven segment if you want you can change it to the screen normal screen green lcd or you can changing anything thing or or you can adding the bluetooth model because it, see there is a main thing you can uh, improving on this project uh for me i make another one uh just the best one i make this one uh i think it is easy and uh, this this or this part is the part for debugging for in entering the program. This is the antenna port. Uh, so you see, it's, this project it is, is it is not so hard, but is understandable. Uh, is in, first is understandable. The second thing uh, it is easy to get resources. The first I show you everything. Uh, like uh, even I make the programming for this one. If you need, you can ask me. Uh, or you can check on the description. I put in, I try to put in everything. Uh, if you need the semantic diagram, I can I can send you. But or you can check on the video because I I show you everything, everything the step by step. You see this one, the part for the connector using the switch and the 10k resistor on the and then the MCU. I change the name and then this part for the uh, you know this 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 are uh, this capacitor is for debugging, um, and then here there is just connecting to this header. Uh, this one is changing from forty to two point three, and then this two module right. Yep, that's it only. Mm. You see this one. Uh, I forget to show you this one. Uh, like, you see, okay. The name of this one is the one I uh, will show you. So now you, you can you can find it everything. You can make it for you. You can do other things like uh, this one is another part. I show the name and I show the name of the this the supplier. Everything I show you everything. So 
hope you are enjoying this video. If you have any problem or if you have any comment about this this good this interested project, you can tell me. Uh, let me know if you have any problem or if we need anything about that uh, about the PCB design or the or the programming MC firmware. You can ask me anything. I'm here for you. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I love you. Bye bye.